fuel subsidy removal, which was the first major policy announcement of Mr. President, was necessary. It was overdue, and it had placed the country in a fiscally unmanageable situation. Today, although this is not what the average Nigerian sees, the revenue of government, um, when you look at our, my, my role basically as the government treasurer, as opposed to maybe the coordinator of the economy, we have totally revamped and renewed government revenue. The procedures that we use now mean that we are collecting virtually all that should be coming to government from various agencies, uh, uh, revenue earning departments, and parastatals. And that is increasing, and that includes major earnings in foreign exchange, which were not being had before. And so, as a result of what's been done on the revenue, the government is paying its way. Nigeria is no longer living on borrowed money. It's no longer living on drawing means, ways and means. When we have international debts, obligations to international uh, companies or banks, like for instance, the, 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 the shareholding in African Development Bank, the shareholding uh, uh, payments to the Islamic Development Bank, hundreds of millions of dollars, we have made them on time. We have kept the reputation of the, of the country intact, and that is ongoing. We don't expect, we are paid down 7.3 trillion naira of outstanding overdue uh, um, ways and means obligation. That is overdraft at Central Bank. And so the government is really put in place a robust mechanism, not just on revenue, but expenditure to, to ensure that Nigerians' money is spent visibly, transparently, and accountably. Um, these measures are, are not ones that are easy to implement. Change management is always difficult, but with the president's political will and backing, we are pushing through these reforms.